in order to do that kind of drill bit here in Category 5 in the part design workbench, we need an additional helix because the sweep, which is called rip here, has no option to turn or rotate the profile along the path. So let's hide this body here and show the curves. So I've got a circle with a diameter of 20 millimeters. Then that trapeze shaped profile here. That length might be 16 millimeters. This might be 2 millimeters. And the angle is maybe 40 degrees. And of course, it's symmetric here to that axis. And this helix here has a pitch of 100 millimeter and rotates one around the set axis. So it has one turn. So let's start with our rip command. Select the profile, the, this one here. Go for the center curve, the helix. And then switch from keep angle to pulling direction and choose that plane here, the y, x, y plane, as pulling direction. That one here. And confirm. Great. Now I want to go for a circular pattern. I want to pattern the body, it doesn't really matter. I want to go for a complete crown, four instances, and the reference would be in this case the set plane. And confirm. Now let's do a circular pattern. I want to go for a complete crown, four instances is OK. The reference element would be the set axis here and confirm. Then I have to add a pad or a block or an extrude. With that sketch here, it should go up 100 millimeter and OK. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me all